Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for September 5th, 2022, current on 1 30 p.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including potential for more storms to be forming in the tropical Atlantic over the next seven days. And could we have our season's first major hurricane? Let's go ahead and jump straight into everything. Taking a weather across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we mainly have two systems of note here. First of all, we have Tropical Storm Earl, which is now several hundred miles to the north of Puerto Rico. And then we still have Hurricane Danielle over here, but this is now beginning to weaken. And then we have a new system near the Cabo Verde Islands to keep a monitoring over the next several days. We can see this here in the tropical weather outlook from this morning. Again, here's Earl over here. This is Danielle. And then our system back here, which will likely be designated as an invest area later this afternoon. This will be moving towards the north and west over the next several days and could find a weakness in the ridge to turn away and out to sea. We take a look here at Tropical Storm Earl. Again, right now the forecast does call for gradual strengthening. Right now sustained winds have increased to a maximum of 65 miles per hour. This is still about 745 miles to the south of Bermuda at this point. It's only moving north-northwest of 5. So this is not moving very fast and will be around for several more days. We take a look here at the visible satellite imagery. We notice that right now we have an area of disorganized thunderstorm activity on the northern side here. This isn't able to wrap fully around because we still have a lot of shear across the storm right now. And that's mainly forcing most of the convection off to the north and east at this point. Notice how east weighted this really is. And then we kind of have this uh, kind of feeder band, you could say, basically into the U.S. British Virgin Islands at this point. So still causing some rainfall and potential flooding issues ongoing across there. But this will be gradually moving northward over the next few days and could become our season's first major hurricane. If you take a look at the recon plane that was in there from earlier this half, or earlier this morning rather, we noticed that most of the heavy wind and rain is on the eastern side. This is a very east weighted system and that's attributed to all of the shear pushing most of the convection down, uh, kind of down shear basically. And we noticed that we don't really have a lot of strong winds. However, there was one a uh, 55 knot wind barb in here. So that does uh, kind of qualify for that 65 mile per hour um, estimate that we're getting from the hurricane center. Pressure's still uh, pretty low down in the thousand millibar. It's about 999 uh, range. It's kind of hard to get an exact estimate because this will be going through periods of weakening and strengthening over the next few days. It's gonna be hard to kind of get a, a better grasp on that. If you take a look here at the uh, H4 forecast here. This is the 200 millibar wind pattern in the upper part of the atmosphere, about 39,000 feet here. We notice that what we have right now is, generally speaking, we have this outflow that's trying to expand with our storm. But we notice this tut here basically just carved out. And this is not really allowing for our storm to actually strengthen much at all. And that's going to remain the case for the next several days. We can actually see here. It still takes a while. This is by Tuesday. It still takes a while to actually get going. And then finally, we start to see a more favorable uh, interaction uh, between this uh, trough right here and the outflow pattern. So the shear actually does relax a bit. And that's where our storm can actually intensify. We notice that we're still getting some shear out here, though. This is not yet getting that strong. But eventually, this kind of carves off, and then you kind of get a favorable jet interaction to the north. There's a trough right here, and there's also this jet right here. And this is going to have a very favorable interaction with this jet pushing that outflow. And so this is going to create a lot of divergence in the upper levels. And that only means that air has to rise and go up. So you're going to have some vigorous thunderstorm development. And this is really when our pressures could actually tank quite substantially. And in fact, we get down into the low 940s as this passes Bermuda. However, Bermuda is still under the gun here. If we take a look at the European ensembles here, we notice that there is still a wide range of possibilities. Now, here on the 06E run, most of the models continue to indicate that this will be passing generally off towards the east. However, the wind field will be expanding and at least breezy conditions could be expected on the island of Bermuda over the next couple of days, mainly as we head through portions of Friday and into Saturday. And then eventually the track forecast becomes quite uncertain with several members now beginning to turn this and kind of stall it uh, as it's getting uh, kind of kept underneath a building ridge to the north and kind of swings this back generally westward. 
while some of the stronger members continue to lift this off towards the north. So we have several days of monitoring this. No real threat to the island of Bermuda at this point, but certainly could see some gusty winds, maybe some heavy rainfall from time to time. And of course, if you live in the island of Bermuda, it is important to continue to monitor the progress of this system. Now, focusing on the rest of the North Atlantic, we also have Hurricane Danielle right now sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. It's been moving towards the north and east over the next several days before becoming post-tropical sometime within the next 72 hours or so. And this could get pretty close to Europe here. If you take a look at the visible satellite imagery, we notice that, again, pretty healthy storm for being uh, over 40 north at this point. However, this is going to begin to deteriorate and it is already doing so. You can see that the inner core structure is not that good today. And that will remain the case and actually deteriorate as this begins to race off towards the north and east and gets kind of caught up in a mid-latitude cyclone to the north. If you look at the European forecast here for multiple systems. We notice that, again, just our players on the board today, we have Danielle, Earl, and then also this system coming off the coast of Africa. And we notice how that, again, over the next several days, we actually have the system coming off the coast of Africa, lifting generally towards the north here. And then we have this low rider that comes off within about 96 hours. It's very far to the south. This is actually at about 7 degrees, 8 degrees north here, which means that this is very far south and very unlikely to feel any significant influences from what's going on up here to the, to the north. And this will be something to monitor as this could find favorable conditions being quite far to the south and could get uh, down there pretty close. And we'll have to see if this may become a threat for portions of the Lesser Antilles uh, as we progress over the next week or so. But then notice how, again, we have Danielle, we have this system, and then Earl over here. Multiple systems to watch, and the European here gets it very close to the island of Bermuda, actually kind of dives it to the south for a bit, and then carries it a bit far to the west and then north. And maybe we can still be talking about uh, Earl about two weeks from now. It's very hard to believe, uh, but this could get pretty close to Atlantic Canada here, so just something to monitor then probably a bogus cane here because it's pretty strong over land, so I don't really believe that. But still, a lot of time to monitor. You can kind of see that, again, we could be dealing with more systems over the next few days uh, that we're going to have to keep our eye on. We'll have a storm potentially impacting the Baja Peninsula over the next couple of days, and we'll be talking about that more in a later video outlook that we're going to do later today. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great start of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali, and I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.